Well, this one, it's uh, cocoa, uh, cocoa uh, mango, mango butter. It smells just like a, like a mango tree. It smells just like a mango. Like if you took it out of that tree, it was a mango tree. And very, very a lot of uh, black females like the, they kind of sense like the uh, Tunisian frankincense and things like that. Like I sell to a lot of different people, African females, black females, and I know young young females, you know, and I know exactly what what people like and the scent. Like I don't have to think; I already know what they like. I buy the the extract. And then what I do is I mix it with the mineral oil and I mix it with, with my own, like with Julio's. But I get, I get whatever scent, they're, they're Italian friends of mine, you know, they're connected people. And I've been dealing with them for 12 years. I don't give no names or nothing like that, you know, and, but that's how I do. See, this is the original polo. And this is the original, it's a very nice color. The original polo cologne is, is green and mine's is uh, brown. This is the lick me all over, the, the red one, you know, and things like that, you know. So you see how I do here? This is how I do, this is one order. This is one order to one person. They bought the baby powder, they bought the polo black, the Kenneth Cole, the original signature, and the blue jeans, and the uh, Izzy Miyake. That's one order for one, uh, one friend of mine. Now here's the new one that's, uh, and if you notice, I, I made it purple, called it Purple Haze from the 70s, the Jimi Hendrix era. And I'm a fanatic, you know, Jimi Hendrix fanatic. And, and the scent, I love the scent. Oh, Hendrix, uh, see, Hendrix was a, a, a heroin addict, you know, so he was, uh, I loved him, because I was a heroin addict too, you know? And I know what it is, like when you could see, Hendrix was, uh, his drug of choice was uh, uh, Purple Haze, uh, which was acid, LSD, sunshine, and that's a tremendous combination. LSD and heroin is a tremendous. I did it twice in my life, and that's the best thing I ever did in my life, you know? I'll tell you one story of a girl that me and my best friend, when my mother lived in the projects, and we lived on the 20th floor in the projects, it's a 24th story. It's called the Fulton Projects, where, where I was uh, born and raised. Um, there was a girl, uh, we were up in the, in the, um, in the roof, and she had taken sunshine. We were all tripping. My best friend, it was uh, like, uh, not, not really his girlfriend, but she it was close to almost like a girlfriend. She had taken acid and she took a little bit too much. And she was standing at the end of the, of the building, you know. At that time, they didn't have no, in the projects, they started building fences. So, you know, people you know, don't get pushed off or nothing. So she was standing at the edge and I was telling my friend Eddie, we were uh, all tripping. I said, leave her alone, you leave her alone. Because uh, she kept on saying that she was an orange and that, uh, that we were going to peel her. And uh, my friend Eddie, you know, he wanted to help and he tried to grab her and she jumped off the, the building 25 stories to her death. You got the Paris Hilton for female. You got the David Beckham signature for females. Then you got the Dolce Gabbana for men, the original. And then you got the original Jean-Paul Goudier. It says, only God can judge me. That's hand done, that took like uh, two days to do. Uh, I used to get uh, heroin in the joint, you know, uh, smuggling heroin in, and I paid by paying them uh, heroin. I think it was 70, 71, I did a, a, a little bid that I got in trouble one of my first bids, a, a bullshit thing for uh, buying stolen property. You know, I bought some tires for my BMW and they wind up that the guy had, had robbed him from a BMW. And I got caught for, uh, for buying them, you know. And they gave me 30 days in jail. That's another thing I like, I like jewelry too. I, when I was in the drug game, I, I had a lot of jewelry. I wasted a lot of, I had a Van Cliff and Arpel uh, bracelet that was worth $440,000. And I sold my BMW, you know, from shooting cocaine, being on a cocaine binge, like they call it. I sold my BMW for $5,000. It was uh, 1979. I had it one year, uh, me shooting cocaine and dope. I sold it for $5,000 plus two ounces of cocaine on a mission. 